Hi, welcome to this information session, Every Second Counts. The objective of this session is to highlight some strategies which you can use to manage and plan your time successfully. Studies show that students who are successful at university have a clear vocational goal or purpose for studying. For example, to become a teacher, a dentist or a lawyer. Successful students develop a sense of academic self-confidence and believe in their ability to be successful at university. They attend lectures and tutorials regularly and fulfil the participation requirements of their chosen subjects. These requirements may differ depending on subject or study mode and may have face-to-face -face and online components. Successful students also develop a social network at university and they engage with academic technologies such as LearnJCU, discussion boards and online quizzes. Successful students can balance their commitments, work, life, family and study and invest time on tasks. Commencing university is an exciting time and students commonly feel happy and enthusiastic about their decision to study a chosen field. Your first study period will be stimulating, but it will also be very busy as you will be learning about the university environment, academic expectations, learning technologies, as well as your course content. These new and exciting challenges can cause students to feel anxious and unsure at various times, particularly around assessment periods. As shown in this graph, students can feel like they are on an emotional roller coaster which is 100% normal. Participation in orientation or completion of our Get Ready for Uni online program will give you lots of tips to smoothly navigate your transition and learn about all of the support services available to you. To ensure that you can maintain a balanced life and ensure that you'll be able to meet all expectations that are required to be successful in your chosen subjects, develop a weekly planner. Study planners can be found online if you go to the Learning Centre website, click on the Get Started tab and click on Weekly and Semester Planners. We will now look at how to create both a weekly planner and a semester planner. Strategic and purposeful planning leads to success. To develop your weekly planner, find your timetable for this semester. Go on to LearnJCU and download or print your subject outline. Download or print a weekly planner and complete your weekly plan. The expectation at university is that you will invest 10 to 12 hours per subject per week. This includes contact hours required for your subject and also remaining time for self-directed learning. Calculate how many contact hours are required for your subject. This includes lectures, practicals and tutorials. And subtract this from the 12 hours of expected study each week. On this slide we have two examples of two different subjects. The first being BU 1105. This subject has a three hour lectorial. The second subject SP 1002 has a two hour lecture, a one hour tutorial and a two hour lab. Five contact hours in total. For SP1002, we subtract the five contact hours from 12 to leave us with eight hours remaining for self-directed learning. Now we can divide the remaining eight hours into tasks. For example, you may allow time for assignment preparation reading, tutorial preparation, and time to synthesize and revise subject materials, readings, and lecture notes. Preparing for tutorials is important as this will help you make more sense of the content being covered. After the lecture and tutorial, it is helpful to factor in time to integrate your reading and lecture notes. Also make sure you leave time to synthesise and revise. This will be most helpful later on when it comes to exam time. Look at what has been covered so far in the subject. Often lecturers design subjects in sections. 
When you complete a section, draw all of the information together. Readings, lecture materials, extra research, tutorial activities, and include references. If you do this, you'll be much better prepared for exams and more importantly, you'll be making sense of the subject as you go along. This is an example of a weekly study plan. Start by adding in lectures and tutorials. These are the things that we must attend. Include room numbers if your classes are on campus. Next, schedule in activities such as work and or sport. Then, schedule in your study hours. As discussed, this includes time preparing for lectures and tutorials, and as the semester progresses, you will add more detail into these blocks. For example, prepare draft essay, write essay, editing and so on. Add other workshops that you may wish to attend, such as the academic writing courses, maths refresher or basic statistics. Lastly, add in some social and relaxation time. Also develop a whole semester plan. To develop this plan, download or pr print a planner and use your subject outlines for your subjects to write the assessment due dates into your semester plan. Creating a semester plan will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed. Look at the subject outline for each of your subjects and record the due dates of each assessment on the planner. Include the assessment type, the percentage value and the word limit. This will allow you to plan for busy times of the semester when you may have multiple assessments due. In this example, each subject is colour coded. The key messages from today's session is to know and use your subject outline. It contains all of the information that you need to be successful in your subject. Get organised. Develop your weekly planner and put all of your assessment due dates into a calendar. Become familiar with the support services available to you and utilise these services when needed. Ask for help when required. Thank you for listening 